The one and only time I met an emperor penguin was an unforgettable experience. It occurred on South Georgia, an island north of the Antarctic Peninsula, which is not normally where you find these majestic birds. We concluded that it had got a bit lost and just had to hope that it was going to be all right. It certainly seemed quite happy. I walked close to it. It was not scared at all. I knelt down and it waddled closer to me and stood looking into my eyes which were at the level of its beak. Its colours were amazing and they seemed to glisten in the sunshine. It occurred to me that at any moment it could peck my eyes out, but it didn't, it just gazed at me for a while and then waddled off again. Little did I know that nearly 30 years later they would be placed by the US on the endangered species list. The IUCN last assessed the emperor penguins in August 2019, where it was classified as near threatened and I am wondering if they too will change the penguin's status. These big birds need stable sea ice to breed. The ice must last from April, when the penguins start their courtship, until December when the chicks fledge. In 2016 at Halley Bay Penguin Colony, the sea ice broke up in October when the chicks were too young to swim. This was repeated in 2017 with the death of almost all chicks each time. In 2018, the colony only had a few hundred adults at the breeding site, which was estimated to be around 2% of the recent population. Again, there was no breeding success. The number of penguins at any colony can be estimated by satellite imagery. Although penguins are too small to be seen by satellite, they leave brownish patches on the sea ice, which are stains left by their droppings, called guano. It is these stains that can be detected by satellite and the number of penguins estimated from them. The imagery has also shown that many of the birds from Halley Bay have relocated to Dawson Lampton, a colony just 55 kilometres away, which has seen an almost tenfold increase in the number of penguins and explains why there were so few emperors at Halley in 2018. As well as the early breakup of sea ice, the late formation of it also has a huge impact on the breeding success of emperors. It leads to a delay in breeding, along with reduced breeding success. Also, if there is too much ice cover during the rearing period, the adults have to travel even further to reach their feeding area, which decreases the frequency that chicks feed, which impacts on their growth and increases mortality rates. Emperor penguins also use the sea ice in the non-breeding season as a platform to rest, used as a refuge from predators and to molt. The emperors also forage for food within the pack ice. Sea ice concentration affects the presence and abundance of their prey, such as silverfish and krill, so having just the right amount of sea ice at the correct time of year is crucial for their survival. The recent addition of emperor penguins to the endangered species list by the US has been prompted by a review of scientific evidence that shows that although the emperors are not currently in danger of becoming extinct, Rising global temperatures signal that it is likely they will become extinct because of the effect this has on sea ice. The Endangered Species Act has increasingly been applied to provide protection for species threatened primarily or in part by climate change, a move that I wholeheartedly applaud. In August 2021, a paper was published which was aimed specifically at the decision makers who place a species under the protection of the Endangered Species Act. The paper looked at the problems faced by the emperor penguins under different climate scenarios and it makes scary reading. The authors applied a climate model which projects a significant decline in Antarctic sea ice, thus threatening the survival of emperor penguins. In fact, between 16% to 30% of all our planet's species are threatened under current climate policies. The authors concluded that even if we stopped emitting greenhouse gases now, Climate change will continue to affect sea ice well into the future and that the emperor penguin is in danger of extinction throughout a significant portion of its range by 2050. Having the listing of an endangered species means that the plight of the emperor penguin is highlighted in the context of climate change. They are seen as a sentinel species, i.e. a species that is highly sensitive to environmental disturbance. Its listing will go a long way to helping other species faced with similar challenges in the Antarctic. Alongside this, the emperors can now enjoy more protection and conservation actions 
which will increase their resilience to climate stress. This includes actions such as protecting their habitat, increasing habitat connectivity and reducing non-climate stresses. It also highlights the need for research and promotes international cooperation on conservation strategies, along with increased funding for projects. By 2050, it is unlikely that I will still be living on our beautiful planet. It would be very sad if this was also the case for the majestic Emperor Penguin. One can only hope that COP27 will lead to some policies being implemented that will mean that such tragedies are avoided. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.